Welcome to the Dublin Housing Observatory Mapping Viewer, a data visualization web tool to support better planning and decision making relevant to the housing sector in the Dublin region. This project has been developed by the All Island Research Observatory at Maynooth University in conjunction with project partners Dublin City Council and Ordnance Survey Ireland. This demonstration video will provide guidance on using the tool. It will look at the various layers behind the web tool, show you how you can interrogate the data, use the different functionality within the web tool, and finally print a map. To start with, we will look at the widget container at the bottom and center of the screen. This contains some of the key functionality that allow you to interact and get most use out of the web tool. By clicking on this blue icon, the layer list, the window to the left of the screen will open and close. This window contains the four key data themes behind the viewer. Contextual layers, zoning and planning, rental market sales and property valuations, and key census variables. By expanding each of the themes, it's very straightforward to turn off the layer that you're interested in. For instance, within boundaries, local authority area is currently turned on. By unchecking this, it disappears from the map. We can then turn on the small area boundaries and you can see that the detailed geographical boundaries appear on the map. Clicking on the map itself will return some of the background data behind that layer. For instance, it's showing the small area code and the local authority that it's within. Within the local services section, there is a variety of different local services shown across the Dublin region. For instance, hospitals, GPs, health centres, some key educational services such as primary schools and post-primary schools. Again, clicking on a particular boundary or asset will provide you with some of the data in the background, in this case post-primary schools. Now, let's look at some of the key housing data behind the tool. To start with, we're going to close down the data that's presented in our contextual layers and we're going to open up the section on the rental market sales and property valuations. Within this section, we've data from the RTB Rental Index, some new detailed housing data on the RTB Rental Market Profile, the CSO Property Price Index and the Property Price Register. Let's look at the results of the Property Price Register. By turning on quarter one 2018, we're presented with all the sales from the property price register as captured and geocoded for quarter one 2018. This data can be downloaded from the property price register website and we've geocoded this using the HSC Health Atlas geocoder. Approximately 80% of all sales are matched to address level and as such can be presented on the map. We can see the colour grading here. Dark red areas are properties that have been sold for over 1 million. Blue areas are properties that have sold for less than 100,000. As we zoom back in the map, we can see the distribution across the Dublin region. Again, if we zoom into a particular area, we can see that it provides very detailed data at almost street level. And again, clicking on a map, will provide you with the data as it's publicly available from the property price register. The map tool also contains a wide variety of census variables from the CSO Census 2016. Let's have a look at some of those. By turning off the layers in the rental market and expanding census key variables, we can see the variety of data that's available here. Indicators are available for household tenure, type, composition, housing vacancy, year build, some housing condition data on central heating, water supply, sewage, and then some key sociodemographic variables, population density, principal economic status, family cycle stage, nationality and ethnicity, and the Pobble HP deprivation index. Let's look at housing tenure. If we expand this section, we can see the variables that are within here. Data is available on owner occupation, rental sector, both private and social housing. 
By clicking on percentage of local authority rented properties or housing, we can see the key distribution of local authority housing across the Dublin region. It's clear to see that highest concentrations are in many parts in the centre of the city and then on the periphery or on the outside of the M50. By zooming in at a more detailed local level, we can see the distribution within the local small areas. The legend on the map shows that very dark areas show almost 70% of all households in an area are rented from a local authority. By clicking on a small area, you're presented with a whole series of data behind that from the unique aero geographical hierarchy. Within this pop-up, it tells you that within this small area, there are 94 households. Of those, 74, 75 are rented from local authority, which is approximately 80% local authority rental rate. This window also provides you with the key data related to this area. The ED, the municipal districts or local authority area, the Dublin City Council area, the Dublin Strategic Planning area, the Eastern and Midlands Regional Assembly. It also provides you with the key count data for that particular area. Now that we've seen how the layer list works and some of the key data sets Within each of the sections, we can look at some of the other functionality within the web tool. To do this, I'm going to close down the different sections that I'm on here, and I'm going to turn back on the property price register data that we had from quarter one 2018 and zoom out just a little bit. Now under the key census variables. I'm going to turn on the Public Deprivation Index, which shows the relative levels of affluence and disadvantage within areas across the Dublin region. As you can see here, dark blue areas are related to areas that are extremely affluent, and dark red areas are areas that are extremely disadvantaged. While a limited amount of the Public HP Deprivation Index data is available for this project in the Dublin region, the main source of this information is through the Pubbel Maps website on maps.pubbel.ie. By clicking on and off this layer, you can see the property price register house prices and the Pubbel Maps data in the background. An alternative way of looking at this is by using the swipe tool. By turning on the swipe tool and moving the slider across, you can just look at the house price results I then slide back on the deprivation data to see the general levels of affluence and disadvantage at a local level. As you can see, there is some clear correlation between higher house prices and areas of high levels of affluence. We're now going to look at one last part of the functionality within the map tool print widget. The print widget allows you to create maps that can be outputted as PDFs or JPEGs for use in presentations or reports. To show you how this works, we're going to make a map using the local property tax valuations data from revenue.ie. To do this, we're going to turn off the property price register and the public deprivation index map and expand the local property tax valuation section within section 3 rental market sales and property valuations. We're going to turn on valuation bands for flats and apartments from 2013 to 2019. We're going to move the map and centre it around Dublin City Council. We're also going to add an additional contextual layer coming from our boundary section. We're going to add in our local electoral area boundaries. We're then going to zoom in a little bit to show three or four of the main local electoral areas in the city centre. These are Pembroke South Dock, Rathgar Rath Mines, Crumlin Kimmage. With these areas centred on the map and the valuation data shown, red areas showing 
apartment valuations in excess of half a million with dark blue areas less than 100,000. So quite a difference within and across the area. Clicking on the print icon, we can put in a map title. In this case, it's going to be local property tax. Apartments 2013 to 19. Under the layout, we can choose the predefined Aero Dublin Housing Observatory setup. Under Format, we can choose PDF, JPEG, EPS, SVG, and so on. In this case, we're going to stick with PDF. Clicking on Advanced, you can add in the author. Or any copyright information you feel necessary. that in place you click on print and it should take a few moments for the PDF to be created. This will then pop up into your screen here. You can click on the PDF to download it to your local browser for use within reports or presentations.